Hello, my name is uh, Nicolas Ferton and uh, we are in Bodega saint rue and I'm from France, Bordeaux. Uh, we, we've been here uh, since 2015, uh, making wine in, in Mexico and Senana. Yes, my family is from France, from Bordeaux, it's uh, very, uh, very far away. And uh, we've came to Mexico because we wanted to explore uh, New, uh, new type of, of wine and, uh, and the new world. In France, we have uh, a winery and we, we, did, we don't have much to, to do over there, not too much to, it's a second cru classé and we don't have too much to, uh, to add to, the, to this winery and we wanted to, to begin a new concept uh, in, the new world, in the new world with, uh, with uh, everything new. Like uh, in France, the problem is we can't, for example, uh, do with which variety we want or make wine we try things, try new things because of good reason too, because they know what's good, what's not usually. And uh, here in Mexico, everything is new. So we are able to, to do this and to see what's working well here. And for me, it's a lot more interesting to, to work in the, those kind of new, uh, new wine region. So the valley, uh, it's, uh, it's a great place and what's, like, what surprised me the most is uh, from France we didn't hear a lot about Mexican wines. So when I tried the grape here I was really uh, uh, surprised by the quality of it. I was really happy and I really thought we could make very great wine here, very different from the one from France. The thing I like the most is especially the, the difference you can have with the same grape and different weather, different terroirs that we have here. So we can see it with the Nebbiolo especially. The Nebbiolo is very different from the one from Italy. It's a lot stronger here, a lot more color. And uh, this, I think it's very impressive and um, how to say, interesting. It's very interesting to work with uh, grapes that are very different, working very different here, very differently. Yeah. How was it adapting from French food to Mexican food? Oof. The first years were pretty hard because I wasn't uh, eating anything spicy, but uh, it's going well, it's going well right now. I'm really fond of tacos. So. <laughs> tacos, okay. I was going to ask you your favorite Mexican food, tacos. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, do any of the wines from Mexico make it to the family uh, property in, in Bordeaux? So, we want to do it. We didn't, we did for only the family and friends, some bottle here and there, but we haven't uh, exported much yet but we want to and I think the French um, the French uh, are going to like it all my friends liked it a lot well it's French so you never know sometimes they're just nice but they, they liked it really they liked it a lot and they, they really uh, want to try our wine some even one of my cousin thought our, our Sauvignon was the best he had and uh, that was pretty like it surprised me a lot that they, they say that because it's very different from the one from France. What is the future of this wine region in Mexico? I think it has a bright future. Uh, what's really interesting is that we can say probably the Nebbiolo is going to stay a big grape type of grape, but maybe it will evolve still. I'm not sure. Uh, we find everything we could yet, so it's still evolving. And I think the future is pretty good because uh, yeah, the, the grapes are, are very good. And if you have very good grapes, you can do a very good wine. As far as tourism, bringing people into the area, what's the future of that? Mm, right now, it's, there is a lot of building, a lot of uh, tourism around here. I think it's going very well. Uh, I hope it's not going too well because maybe having too many people can be a problem with the water problems we got here in the valley. But uh, it's going very well right now. So we'd like you to, to try Mexican wine uh, uh, wherever you are. But if you can come down here, it's a very beautiful, a beautiful region. And it would be even better to, to look and see by, by yourself uh, how we make wine around here.